Hey guys, it's Timothy with AALD, and today I'm going to show you how to quickly make a spiral staircase. All right, let's get straight into it. Um, first, we're going to want to create the spine of the staircase. And we'll measure that out to, let's say, like 160 inches. That's if we're going to have 16 steps so that each rise of each stair can be uh can be i mean can be eight inches and then we're going to use the command spiral create the axis and how wide these staircases are going to be let's say like three feet and we're going to match that on top and there we go that's, those are going to be our construction lines. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use the command divide to divide both of these lines into 16 equal segments. And if we just double check, oh yeah, I mean uh, 10 inches. Yeah, each... Each rise is at 10 inches. So then what we do is we're going to have to, unfortunately, draw every single staircase. And that's because if you don't divide, or I mean, if you don't pick a distance that's appropriate and like you divide it into an irrational number, then this staircase will not be seamless. So if we just do every single step by hand, you will not get into that problem. Um, let's see. We have that done. We're just going to take this staircase uh, line, just copy it. We're actually just going to put it in another layer because we're going to need that spiral to do a lot of a lot of different things um let's see first we're going to use the command split and split split the spiral into a bunch of small lines smaller lines and then another step is to actually take all these lines copy them and just move them up one step that's another part of our staircase frame and what we're going to do is we're going to use command set point which basically well more specifically set point and then we check off the x and y points so that what it'll basically do is flatten them oops is flatten it just like that and we're going to want to do that with every single line All right, now to draw the vertical lines. All right, and we'll take that line that we hid in the kind of, the kind of discard layer, and we're just going to bring it back into the default layer and actually divide it again with, I mean, split it again. I'm just gonna take it and split. And now it's time to fill in all of the surfaces. What we can do here for the, the top of the stair is planar surface. And it's not making the planar surface, wait. 
doing it for those. Just give me a second. And what we could do is just uh, select all of these closed planar polylines, or I mean polylines that form a closed polyline that is also planar. Just do all of them like that. These top ones don't seem to be working for some reason. So what we'll, we'll do is just uh, project them to C plane. Place them back. I'll try this again. Planar surface. There we go. And also, the side of the stair. Um, if you did your math correctly and all of the steps are the exact same, height, you can just select all of them here. All of these curves and use extrude. Um, since every step is 10 inches, you just press 10. There we go. Now for the side of the staircases where it gets a little tricky, we'll use the command Sweep two. First rail, second rail, and this is the sweep shape. There we go. You can make this a little faster by just doing sweep two again and selecting all of our rails and sweep shapes in that order and just do that for every single step. All right, beautiful. And if we just want to fill in this bottom here, we can use the sweep two again, just like this. First rail, actually wait, these are all split. So what we'll do is just make another spiral. There we go. Try that again. Sweep two. First rail, second rail, and then just this bottom piece right here. Oops. Try that again. First rail, second rail, and the sweep shape. There we go. Bam, just like that. We have this incredible spiral staircase. It's quick, simple. Okay, we can thicken this um, with extrude surface. Make it a solid, yeah. Maybe go down six inches and you can just trim the bottom as you need. And to get rid of the points, we'll just do Cell points, I'll select all these points, annoying points that look bad, just delete them. There you go. Quick, easy spiral staircase, nothing more than that.